<laughs> Greetings and salutations, people of the internet. I'm Avisa Mark II, and welcome to Shin Megami Tensei Synchronicity Prologue. That's a name if I've ever heard one. <laughs> but yeah, this is some free thing they released eons ago that is mostly in Japanese, as you might have noticed. <laughs> That is completely and utterly fine, as I have installed something that will make most of it English. So, hey, it'll be readable. <laughs> but, yeah. I was actually planning on recording this originally on the... See, English. But, yeah. Starch Flag Hole, Programmer Miss Jones, Mysterious Coma, Human... As a father, son, and friend, I have sent you strength. Use this program to open up a path towards the future. Good luck. But yeah, I was actually planning on uh, playing this uh, after Saturday, but everything went wrong, and I lost uh, complete it utter. <laughs> it was after the Saturday, which I recorded that one video on. Everything went wrong. I don't know. I just lost all hope to record. And then, on Christmas, I recorded again. Which, if this video is correct, was two days ago. But yeah, I recorded again, I recorded that update, and then I recorded the review of the game Sir G4S, which is the controller I'm using right now to play this. And... It, and then I was sick. So, I think the universe... I was really sick after, and I still am. So, I think the universe is telling me I should stop recording. So, this is my middle finger to the universe as I am going to record the next day after. And I've talked for a very long time, so let's just get into whatever this is. <laughs> I played a bit, and honestly, English, Japanese, I don't understand. <laughs> I've never played a Shin Megami Tensei game. i never even played Shin Megami Tensei Persona. <laughs> Which you might know as just Persona. <laughs> Alright, before I get to anything, let's check uh, the recording software. Heho! Okay. Recording's going on! Japanese character name, and it said Heho. Okay. I feel kind of strange. For some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like there's something I need to do. Oh, oh indeed! Heho? Something popped up in the middle of the sky. Oh. Yes, you say ho a lot. It's somewhat annoying. Playing back new message. Human, it seems that you have launched the program. You shall be referred to as subject number two henceforth. So who's subject number one then? You are compatible with the program. Subject number two. You are the hope of the people. Take control of this Jack Frost and open up a path towards the future. Good luck, Heo. I don't un really understand. Yeah, I, I don't either. E buttons jump, I gotta remember that. B and A is opposite, I'm not entirely sure how to fix that. To South Pole Base. 128 red messages. Haven't responded in four days. We hope survivors. If you get message, let us know if safe. Swartzelt's larger observing atmosphere in center of South Pole. Machine broke down. If any survivors head there, repair equipment, we leave to you. Okay. But yeah. From my understanding, Shin Megami Tensei is not normally a Metroidvania. This is just some side thing. <laughs> to promote another game. That was... It was also something that's only in Japanese, which is... <laughs> amusing, which is kind of weird. To my knowledge, Shin Megami Tensei has a US following as well. So, it's odd that they, only, they would only release something like this in, say, Japan, you know? But, it's whatever. I think it was up for free until December 24th, but considering I'm recording this December 26th, I don't think it's up anymore, so... Yeah! That's a shame. That's why I wanted to record this after the uh, last update video, because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna promote something free, it's kinda cool. 
and also makes absolutely no sense, but it's kind of fun on its own. I've seen this... I've actually seen this engine before I've been in another... Oh, they followed me. Okay, that... That's a bit annoying. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen this engine used before in another game, and all these effects, and even graphic style. I think the game is called Pharaoh Rebirth Plus. I'll have to look up the game engine because it's an intriguing little engine that seems like it's made specifically for Metroidvanias. I think by the two games I've seen it made for because Pharaoh Rebirth Plus is also a Metroidvania. Kind of fun. Not as optimized as this, if I remember correctly. It kind of had a lot of frame rate but uh, I guess it's the best ever It makes a Metroidvania, but it seems like it might make a better cost to the <laughs> skilled developer. Not saying that, but apparently it's not skilled. It also seems to have a lot of stock effects. I've seen the blood effects and I've heard the death effects before. The damage effects before. This is nothing new. Okay, so getting up there is going to be some form of trial. There we go. Get rid of him is also a trial. There we go. Did it! I have little health, so here's hoping we... Oh, yeah, I can just walk through these guys. Because I'm immune to the cold, more or less. I like that as a bit of a... <laughs> I like that as a mechanic, just... Certain characters are strong against certain things. You're probably wondering... Change. <laughs> Say your element? Yes! Yes, you can. And we'll get to that in a second, most likely. After I get through some of the platform and figure out where the fuck I'm going. So, yeah. Let's just get through this platform and figure out where the fuck we're going. Down here. Probably not. I am probably going to die before I get anywhere, because... <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned, is that this game isn't exactly the easiest. Hey, we found a secret. I don't think we can do anything with the secret at this point in time. It's just a small fear. Yeah, I don't think it's happening. Actually... Actually... I remembered something. <laughs> But I still don't think we can do anything with it. We just, uh, hit. We don't jump high enough. But we can head over here, which leads absolutely nowhere, but we can actually see what we need to do. And also, you can't jump through the ice. Even though you can jump through the ice from below, it's not from under it. Also, it's very odd that some enemies respawn and some don't. When you return to areas, it's very weird to say the But eh, it's fine. I mean, it's good that some enemies don't respawn. It would be kind of sucky if they block you in the doorway. Though, so I think I'd like a uh, time enemies to be on some form of timer better than just leaving an enemy to run. No! Alright, come on. Alright, can I make it? No. Okay. So I gotta freeze the water there. It's weird I can jump through the ice like that. And then that teaches you that mechanic. <laughs> which is push things over. So, Pyro Coon is trapped in ice. I gotta help him, though. Pyro Coon, eh? <laughs> what a name. So, yeah, simple. <laughs> Jump over it, and then voila, you can melt the ice. Hee ho ho. My body is freezing, though. Frost, did you save me? Oh. I sure did, ho. I owe you one, ho. Why were you trapped in the, that ice, ho? Why must everyone say ho so many times? He was really scary, ho. That black frost. He just wasn't normal, ho. Don't tell me you were being beaten by a black frost. That's right, ho. He killed everyone but me. I'm the only one that survived, ho. He's no ordinary Black Frost, ho. He had an aura about him that I've never seen before. That sounds rough, ho. 
All right, huh? There's something I wanted to do, huh? Let's go ahead and work together and teach that Black Frost a lesson, huh? Don't be stupid, huh? I don't want to fight him a second time, huh? Yes. Glitching effect. Huh? Indeed. I'm feeling kinda... No, I'm really angry now, huh? I won't forgive him, huh? I'll never forgive him for trapping me in that ice, huh? Help me beat up that black, that lousy black frost. Let's get him, ho. Huh? So you're gonna help me, ho? Huh? That's right, ho. Huh? I'm sure we can beat him together, ho. Huh? That's great, ho. Huh? I had something I wanted to do, too, ho. Huh? Let's beat Black Frost together. I do owe it to you, ho. Huh? Let's get him. For once, they didn't say ho. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Buttons, 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 why? Okay, why button does that? It's worth knowing, so I'll explain my abilities to you, ho. You're strong against ice, but I'm strong against fire. Maybe you already knew that, no? Of course I did, ho. I can turn water into ice. And you can turn ice into water, no? Exactly, ho. As you can see, I can float around, no? Since I can fly, I can go to higher places than you, oh. Huh? However, that doesn't mean I can go anywhere, oh. Huh? there's no ground below me, then my hover power goes away, oh. Huh? What does hover power mean, oh? Huh? Basically, it means that I can, can't fly unless there's ground below me. Oh, I get it now. If you want to use me, just press the character select button. Got it! The character select button. Yes! The tutorial's kind of useless when you don't know what that button is. I'm just saying. Oh, and this is where this knee pad is gonna become a pain to use. So yeah, there's a basic idea right there of, you know, ground up there. Yeah. He has eight directional shooting, so... You can, uh, you can take damage from fire, for signs, so you can touch these guys. I don't entirely know what is up with the blue things. But there was something down here, wasn't there? So let's head down here. <laughs> let's just get our butt through here. Let's see if we can find whatever this thing was. This blue thing that... I don't know, it was blue. I want the blue thing. <laughs> That's all there really is to say about it. Does Mr. Jack Frost move faster? Ow. No, but he does take damage better. <laughs> Alright. So, we need to ice the water. Alright, the water has been iced. Then we need to... This third, then we just need to fly. This person. Keep forgetting names. <laughs> Yes! It increased something by 10. Figure out what that something is eventually. <laughs> Alright. So let's get up here. Yeah, let's show off this guy then. So, he aims like that. He has a charge ability, just like he aims by well, pushing up and down. And the charge ability is quite powerful. Okay, we'll get a use of it here, most likely, I think. Anything? No, actually, they didn't respawn. <laughs> also, it was, uh, mana, by the way. The mana bar. Yeah. Here. Pierces through walls, and a lot of damage, to say the least. <laughs> you want to get for this hell, you kind of need to be using him. <laughs> or else you're just going to take a lot of damage trying to get Jack Frost through. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. Beautiful. Get me on this. Let's go back this way. So don't get damaged. He's low on health. <laughs> Perfect. Screw you. Hi. Oh. oh, they don't do as much damage as I thought they did. Also, what are you? Tell me now. No idea. Circle. 
go away. <laughs> Some of these feel a bit odd, to say the least. Let's go down this hole. More of these things. Cool. Alright, so we got ourselves ice here. Ice! Destroy the ice. Okay, we got the save point again. So, yeah. I think for now I'm ending it here, because while well, 15 minutes might seem short for me, I am sick. So I can't record for long periods of time. And this D-pad is uncomfortable. But yeah, I thank you so much for watching. I've been Abyssal Mark 2. This has been Shin Megami Tensei's Synchronicity Prologue. Amazed I meant to remember that. Be sure to like if you enjoyed this weird Japanese thing. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you want to see more weird Japanese things. Share the video. Comment down below what you think. And follow me on Twitter for updates and shit. And me complaining a lot. Again, I've been Abyssal Mark 2. This has been Shin Megami Tensei's Synchronicity Prologue. Have a nice day, ho.